What's up guys, good afternoon. Today I intend to answer two important questions. Are monkey bars a good workout? And which muscles do monkey bars work? It really depends on which technique you use as different techniques will emphasize different muscle groups. The main techniques I'll look at will be forwards and sideways straight arm and bent arm, forwards and sideways. Stay tuned for a bonus technique, which I believe is the hardest as it works the most muscle groups, especially the abs and the core. First, we need a set of monkey bars. work out which muscles are being used first of all we have to look at the joints involved and understand the movements at these joints the main joint involved in all these techniques is clearly the shoulder joint going forward on the monkey bars with the full swing technique will require the biggest range of motion the angle at the shoulder joint and the torso is changing constantly throughout the movement with one bar at a time in comparison there is much less ROM needed Let's take a closer look. You can therefore be sure any muscles that link the upper arm to the torso will be involved during the monkey bars. The main ones being lats and pecs. These are both big powerful muscles which will be mainly responsible for creating the movement. Other smaller muscles will be responsible for stabilizing the shoulder during the movement. These muscles include teres major, teres minor, and the serratus anterior. As well as the shoulder joint, we will also need to consider the shoulder girdle, which means mid and lower traps, as well as the rhomboids, will be working to help control the torque of the torso. Going forward, we'll also need a twisting at the hips and the torso. For any rotation at the torso to occur, you can be sure the obliques will be heavily involved. Going forwards with the bent arm, I personally find very taxing and maybe don't have the best technique for this. If you check out the video I did with Luke the Ben, you'll see he has a much more efficient technique than I do. And according to him, it is the technique that he would use during his races. Train like a Spartan, why not check it out? If you're a regular to the channel or follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me do this version of the monkey bars before. So therefore, I wanted to check it out and see how it varies. With any side to side movement on the monkey bars will require hip flexion and lateral flexion of the spine. If you're missing out bars or rungs, then that requires a bigger contraction, which creates the bigger movement. After that, of course, momentum plays a part, but it's the initial contraction which creates that movement. The obliques and the hip flexors will also play a part in lateral spinal flexion. When I go forwards on these, I find the bent arm helps to stabilize the shoulder joint and counteracts the instability of the rings on the pegs. Any bent arm technique will require more and constant effort of the biceps and the muscles of the forearm. Another point worth mentioning is the grip. With this, the grip is constant, whereas with the monkey bars, the grip is contracting and then releasing as you transition from bar to bar. Therefore, I would say this requires more grip endurance. So 
sideways bent arm is potentially for me the quickest and I do have a video out on this where I tested monkey bar techniques so why not take a look because the arms are bent again will mean the biceps will be working heavily so fatigue may set in a lot quicker but it does look and feel good especially when you get it right Now for sticking around, here's your bonus. The upside down crawl perhaps works the most muscles. Getting into position is basically a hanging leg raise. So therefore, great for the abs. Because of the change of angle, the mid traps and the upper back now become more active. With the use of the legs though, the upper body will be working less more emphasis is placed on quads, glutes and hamstrings. This version therefore makes it a total body exercise. I for one certainly believe monkey bars are a good workout. Since doing them regularly, it's definitely helped with other obstacle and calisthenics type activities. I've found that they've improved my grip and shoulder strength, shoulder mobility, and improved my core. Plus, they're just really good fun. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If you found this video useful, then check out my other monkey bar videos as you may find those equally as useful. Have fun exercising, be safe. I'll see you next time.